What's up everybody, this is Butterfish Tank and today I'm basically going to bring you a video um, which is um, a little care guide on six line brasses and uh, you know a lot of you guys have been asking about my six line brass and how he's doing and things like that and you guys really seem to think that he's an awesome fish and of course I do that myself, I think he's awesome, just look at him um, really cool fish and um, very colorful actually, it has um, a pinkish orange body um, with blue stripes, it has six blue stripes as the name, name suggests. It got a green tail with a dark spot um, with a blue ring on the outside uh, on its tail, and um, which basically is some sort of camouflage um, that should pretend to be an eye so that it uh, predators think that its tail is actually its head. That's also why it's green, and it's the only part of its body that is green. That is basically because it wants to highlight that that is the the thing that the predator should go for and um, because if it goes for the tail um the six line brass will be gone immediately so he can't eat it um the predator if he tries um, so that's kind of cool and um, they're they're actually rather peaceful when they are small they're still mildly aggressive um and territorial but um when they get older they will get a lot more aggressive and a lot more um territorial and they'll begin to nip at most fish and things like that. And a lot of people have had problems with old six line brasses just suddenly killing um, some of their tank mates that they have been together with for years and years and years. So that's kind of sad, but that's how it works. Um, so yeah. Also, a really unique thing I think is uh, cool about this fish. Now let me zoom in here. If you see here on its eyes, it actually has stripes um, that kind of connect with the stripes that they have on their body. Um, again, that is the camouflage that should uh, look like it's their, um, a part of their um, body and that is not its head. So that's kind of cool. Um, the six line rest is actually rather hard to see if it stands still. It's, it's camouflage is just um, actually mind blowing to me. Um, like if it stands still, uh, still at the rocks, you actually can't really see it if it doesn't move. It's, it's amazing. Um, it camouflages really, really well. And by the way, just look at all these Aptasia. These guys are nasty, but I can't really do much about them. I'm dosing some Aptasia eggs on them every now and again and things like that, but it doesn't really help. But it's okay as long as they don't grow totally big. Um, anyway, um, actually, I'm, I'm uh, making a video here with my iPhone, and you can see the colors of the corals um, a lot more better than before. Um, so that's kind of cool, and also on the fish, um, you can just see the polyps on the Kenya tree right there. That is amazing. Just look at that, that right there. That is awesome, right? Just look at that. I mean that that is just awesome. I love uh, these type of, types of video clips. It looks really nice. Anyway, um, you know the six line dress is um a carnivore and they do eat, um, they actually do eat some vegetable matter if there's something meaty in their food. Um, I usually feed them mices, um, I feed mice with six line rats, mice twice a week. Um, they really really love mice, it's probably one of its favorite foods. Um, live brine shrimp is also a really really good idea, you know, artemia. Um, those types of, of, of small crustaceans are really really good for the six line rats. And if you could um, if you have some um, refugium that would grow um, some sort of, um, you know, um, copepods or amphipods, that would be really, really a really, really nice um, live food supply for the six line rats because they will actually eat um, small crustaceans like that. That is what they live off in the nature. Um, and yeah, that's really all I can uh, I can say about this fish. Um, really, really cool fish. Um, they 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 move around a lot like a dirty bag. Um, actually, they actually remind me a lot about dirty bags. Um, and they they tend to stay around the rocks. That is the thing you guys have to notice. Of course, they do get out in the open every now and again, as mine does. Sometimes you get out here in the front, as you can see right here. But mostly he stays around, dying around the caves here. Um, all those different things, and in between the. Um, the um, you know the frog spawn, uh, you know he's he's just a, they're generally very active fish and they should be active, and uh, a really awesome behavior they have is actually when they sleep at night, they will create a bubble of mucus 
and it's like a thin layer of um, um, of like this mucus fat thing um, and it will just protect it itself and a lot of theories are with um, are about this um, and a lot of people think that it's because it wants to hide its smell um, some people think it's because it wants to protect itself protect itself from um, bacteria because sometimes when um, fish leave their immune system can actually weaken down there's some theories that say that and um, there's a, generally a lot of, uh, of theories about it but the most known one is that they try to hide their smell so that predators actually can't find them when they're sleeping uh, which is you know kind of nice um, and my six on rest always hides underneath this rock right there at night and he creates this bubble of mucus and the way that you can actually see that um, is there is just look at that clownfish he's looking at my finger look at that <laughs> but um, he'll hide underneath that rock and um, you know he'll create the bubble of mucus and I can see small sand particles stuck in there um, so that's kind of cool and um, really really cool fish I really really enjoy um, keeping this guy he's awesome very very colorful um, just an awesome fish just look at that blue damsel Jesus he has some beautiful colorations that is what I got to tell you but um, some few updates in this tank I've ordered a lot of new foods because um, I saw that there was um, a sale on a website um, which I often buy food from and things like that um, fish food so that's really really awesome and uh, I'm also going to get a new wave maker so that I'm going to have one additional pump up here and that's going to give me more surface agitation as well as water movement around the top of the tank and uh, yeah that's pretty much all I got to tell you guys um, there's not really a lot else to talk about um, other than that it's going really really well all the corals are growing great especially the Kenya trees and the green star polyps have been closed up for a while but they have opened up now again and things like that so that's really nice um, the frog spawn has been really enjoying the extra amount of lighting that I've given it for the last couple of weeks. Um, it has really been, um, you know, sprouting out. It has really just shown out its great coloration and things like that. Just look at, at, at the coloration right there. Look at that. Look at that, guys. That is awesome. So, um, yeah, that's really all um, I got to tell you guys. Actually, I can make some really awesome clips with that, back bl uh, that black background right there. It really highlights the colors. But... Um, I might make a video of that, but yeah, that was basically this little video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and see you guys in another video.